person has a panic fear of scattered hair, and it has to do with both the patient and the people around them. My mother does not tolerate pets, but most of all, she hates combs left with even one hair in them. She goes into a stupor of horror even if she sees a hair on the clothes of a stranger walking ahead of her. My mother used to say that my hair didn't grow, and if it grew five millimeters, she'd say it would fall out soon. Then she'd say the skin on my head was too dry. Then she'd say it was oily, and every time it was something different. And it turns out she was stupidly lying to me. Out of resentment, I went to a local coffee shop where I ordered a huge bottle of hot chocolate. The waitress came up to me. She and I knew each other, but we had never been close. Is something wrong? What makes you say that? I've been working for years. You order hot chocolate in the summertime after a big argument or a grudge. The second one. Found out that your mother has trichophobia, and you didn't have your hair shaved because of bad skin on your head. How? How did you know? I'm telling you, I've been working here for years. My father was trichophobic. When my mom wanted to grow her hair out, he found someone on the side who didn't care about being bald. So. I found out about his affairs and gave him a surprise that he just ran away from. You're telling me to kick my mother out. I'm telling you to draw the line. I know trichophobia is a disease, but if another person has it, why should you have the problem? She was right. Her words made me think. Really, why was I adjusting to my mother's comfort level and she wasn't to mine? How much longer could this go on? Without finishing my hot chocolate, I went to a nearby beauty salon and negotiated a good deal with the owner. After her shift, I thoroughly swept the floors, washed, then headed home with a surprise. Having thoroughly prepared the house for my mother's arrival, I lay down on the bed in my room and fell asleep. I woke up to a loud scream. My mom was hysterical. Oh, what is that? Whose hair is that? It's all over the place, Olivia! My mother screamed. I walked out of the room and watched my mother squeamishly look at the floors and the furniture. She was shaking all over from what she saw, and then she ran into the bathroom. But there too was a surprise. Running into the room, 